okay, the erection should be maintained for you to get an orgasm or to ejaculate. Mm. Now there is some a man who will erect and when he's just about to go in, it will refuse or it will die or it will ejaculate. Battery naisha. Yes. So now that is premature ejaculation. So many times as women, we think we are the only ones who wants to be touched. Mm. Even men want to be touched. And it's also very sensitive. Uh, even the testicles and behind the testicles, and it's very sensitive. So arouse him. Also touch him. Ask him where else he's feeling. Uh, the, the mashi, mashi. Mashi, mashi. When you get used to masturbation, you reduce this, you over sensitize your penis mm. because the hand is very firm. Mm. It is not the environment that God created to be natural. Number two, you can, you, you, uh, when you go into a vagina, yeah. it will not feel the same again. So the satisfaction will mean you will have to go and masturbate to finish up what you started. To feel that. Like literally, you think masturbation is just your own problem. You, because you're thinking, ah, see, I'm not hurting anyone. I'm doing it, but you are even hurting this woman who you are going to try and have mm. sex with. As a woman, mm. apart from you know smooth touch, where else should you touch your man? I think uh, the problem is, you know, we've always said women, we have this, we have that, we yes, have that. Yes. Men just mm. have this. Yes. So and those two, two nini. So where I should you touch your man to feel mautamu? <laughs> A uh, very good morning to you and a warm welcome to LNS Rebuilding Series. My name is Lynn Gugi. She is Vaka. And guys, I can't even thank you enough for the feedback that you gave us when we had our conversation with her. And I love that we continue bringing these educative topics to you. And one of the things that I said is that we are going to rebuild everything this year. Our finances, our love life, our sex life. And today, if you have a brother, an uncle, a son, a husband, a boyfriend maybe you want to actually forward them this conversation because we are dealing with all the tough questions when it comes to men from erectile dysfunction premature ejaculation uh, blue balls all those things that you guys have always wanted to know today me and auntie wamurio we are here someone said lynn it's not auntie morio it's auntie wamurio <laughs> yani auntie my sweetness uh, she's here and she will be walking us through this conversation and of course guys i can't wait for you to listen to her but before i do that of course i want to pay a couple of bills i want to say thank you so much to our people at optivena for coming through and sponsoring this episode and also our amazing partners at tap tap send for also coming through now talk to you about optiven a little bit they have an amazing property in vipingo it's called the ocean view ridge and those guys are doing an incredible job so if you want to get yourself a beautiful land piece of land four kilometers away from the Indian Ocean with water, electricity, roads. Why don't you talk to our people at Optiven and tell them Optiven Lina Mesema Mkona Shamba Hapa Na Hapa. Tell me how to go about it. And also their contact details are on the screen. And also guys, if you're watching this from diaspora and you want to spoil someone here at home, you want to send money, you want to, you know, work weke kwa savings zako, use tap tap send. It's very fast, reliable. Use it to send money to your loved ones back at home through M-Pesa or bank accounts. And guys, they will be able to receive it within two minutes. And also a reminder, if you use my promo code LEAN, you are able to get yourself 10% cash back on all the details appearing on your screen and you can see today i'm not rocking black <laughs> maybe to answer a question everyone keeps asking me lynn why do you love black so much it's because i really do love black it doesn't signify anything it just signifies me loving black sour, sour. but today in support of my best friend zawadi i'm wearing this very beautiful dress it's drift it goes only for 1500 and you guys can check her page here for a lot of thrift clothes and denim mum support and let her know Tim Elenen is there vouching for her. So guys go check her page out. Get yourself to go kama utu kwa bay na 
asante ni pia kwa subscribers aibu kama una watch kitu ningare hivi na mja subscribe aibu so if you are watching this and you haven't subscribed please subscribe it's free and it goes a long way and now of course without further ado please allow me to let my guest today reintroduce herself ha yeah Hiyo. auntie <laughs> <laughs> should we tell them when you may me to tend leo yani <laughs> Today is that day, but Today, it's okay. How are you? I'm great. Looking I'm very feeling. amazing. Thank you. Uh, you know, Siku, actually, you said, Lin, you know, men are vi- nini. Ay, na we we must. <laughs> but that is the Men are truth. visual creatures. Very so, visual. Today for this topic, yes. for them to listen. <laughs> <laughs> we had to. We had to look We had to parts. slay. We had men to slay. Men are visual. You're looking amazing. And you too. Thank you very much. Love, love, I love the color. Okay. You know, I love colors. Yes. Now all these beautiful colors. We are looking glamorous. We are <laughs> looking <laughs> like flowers, like we should. How do I look? Naweza kuwa na jichocha huku. Love it. Tumbo na breathe in. Achana na tumbo. But I'm good. Yes. So yeah, you're looking great. Nice Thank you so you much. Yes. My good. Elenen team. Hey, I don't even know what to say. Mm. My heart is overwhelmed. My I'm just overwhelmed with love. Yes. You guys are amazing. You have a beautiful our followers are just beautiful. The diaspora people they said hi. Oh, Especially Senegal from Senegal, Tanzania, Uganda, they were on my case uh-huh. in a good way and yeah. they all told me the next time you see Lynn say hi to her. Oh, hi so, right back. Yes, I received so the greeting. There are so many people who called and specifically mm-hmm. Lulu from Tanzania but in Switzerland said please go and pass my regards to me. Ah, Lulu we yes. now eh <laughs> nimepokea salamu. <laughs> Yeah, it has salam. been overwhelming and uh-huh. in a good way because as I told you and I think um it's a moment for me to realize that indeed the world needed this. Mm-hmm. I honestly did not know that what I knew was important to the yes. world. And so for giving me that chance to be able to put the world on my mm-hmm. palms Thank you so much. You are Thank most you welcome. and I'm so humbled. Yeah. Yes. Your win is our win. Yes. Uh you know uh I, I think for me the best part is always going through the comment section mm. and having people say how much mm. of an education mm. they sh- yes. ed- like they yes. get a lot of gems, yes. a lot of wisdom. Yes. So for me I always say if I see that on the comment section people mm. are learning mm. like that really makes me happy. Yes. And also your win is our win yes. which we is have amazing. We won the first day. <laughs> yeah. Our call centers literally just blocked it jumped. everyone was wanted to talk to us but mm-hmm. we have corrected that and we have been talking to everyone and listening and also sharing and we are glad i'm sure testimonies are coming yes. that one i'm sure yes, no doubt no doubt and that's why i came back i'm happy yes. me and scholar we've been very faithful oh yes i've Drinking seen i've walked in and i'm telling yes. scholar your face looks different hard watch i don't even come back mascara <laughs> but uh, auntie for the people who are maybe tuning in for the first time could yes. you introduce yourself welcome to LNN show my name is Carol your health coach and some people know me as Tata Wamurio which means auntie of sweetness i'm called auntie of sweetness because i am very passionate about sexual and reproductive health and i teach my uh, i teach my community in my mother tongue mm-hmm. and it was very strange for my for people to see a young lady who is speaking about sexual and reproductive health but that aside i am a naturopathic health coach yeah. so i use nature to prevent and manage diseases mm-hmm. i look at the resources that god has given us around us yes. that are untampered and then we leverage on them mm-hmm. and we use them most people because of maybe lack of understanding they they just limit me to using plants to heal but i use color i use water i use salt i use sun i use sleep to heal the natural resources that god gave us mm. and so it's an overall thing yes i use the plants because the plants have a lot of the nutrients that we have to borrow from them yes. but i also look at the state of the mind state of the soul and then the body that is how i treat mm-hmm. um so i work with a company called rejuvenating nature's beam it is my company that yeah. i started um and it's literally just returns the smile of nature i am more i'm a lover of nature mm-hmm. and so i've seen the benefits of nature uh, up and above that i'm a cancer survivor yeah. and i help cancer patients pick up the pieces during the treatment and after the treatment through a non-profit called Health Sister Foundation. Beautiful. Again up and above that I am also 
a carer for caregivers mm -hmm. because I have been a caregiver and I've needed one. So I have a care and rest center in Rongai, Ongata Rongai mm -hmm. in Kenya, yeah. where you can come and rest and be taken care of psychologically and even your body, your the food you're given so that you can be able to be, to go and take care of someone else. Mm -hmm. Yes. I checked uh, the center out. Yes. It's very beautiful. Thank I you. love the Africanization yes. of you know the setting yes. and everything. It's very beautiful. Yes. But I don't know if I've asked you this before. When you see Africans going back to their roots, you mm. know, literally Try. They are going back to their roots. Yes. They are working with yes. plants. They are mm. working with the sun. They mm. work. When you see us taking leaves mm. and putting them in our tea, mm. how does that make you feel? It feel makes, us go back to. It makes me feel so fulfilled. Mm -hmm. And um, the first thing I noticed is how we have finally embraced our colors. You know, yes. Africa is one of the colorful continents. That's why our kitenges, our ankaras are very beautiful. And we have a thing about color. Mm. The day you will start seeing color in life is the day that you'll have stopped and smelled the ro roses. The, when you're stressed, when you're going through stress, you never notice color. Yeah. When you're when you're not yourself, you never see color. But the day you catch yourself being happy about colors, just know that nature is telling you now you're about to mm. be a very happy person. Why? Mm -hmm. Because even the colors of the rainbow, when they were created the way they were, when you look at it naturally, they have a way of healing. I don't think God was just silly. He just decided, ah, let me do red, da, 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 da. No, he, everything. If you look at the UV lights, if you look at the rays, they have a healing effect. Yeah. Every color has a healing effect. So that is the first awakening. Then number two, appreciating plants. Mm. Like when I just walked in, then I, you were stepping, you were taking photos there. Me, I was, like, I, <laughs> I was just eating oxalis and I'm looking at outside your office and I'm thinking, does this girl know how many, how much food and medicine she has outside her office? And to me, it's I saw the liver, Yes, I saw the liver healing. I saw the asthma healing. I saw like just in... <sighs> Last time when you we were going home with scholar, I was looking at the fences around here and I'm thinking, Kai, people think these are fences. These are not fences. This is food. Yeah. This is food. So when I fence. Okay, that came out wrong. Like I don't <laughs> Okay. I really don't want people to start eating fences. <laughs> <laughs> that is why we are creating awareness to yes. know because mm -hmm. all these plants, most of us know the plants, but we don't know how to use them. Yes. I've watched, I've, I've read some of the comments and I've seen most people commenting about the avocado seed powder, avocado seed. There are people who've commented what we talked about last time and they are giving a good feedback. So when you start, before you start, it's, it's, it feels... Mm. Um, it feels uh, weird. like weird, but then when you start and you see the difference in yeah. your body and you feel the difference, mm. um, then you feel really good. Today, I, I got a very interesting testimony from a client. Uh, she called me and she told me, you know, Carol, I came to your shop. It was so busy, but yes, finally I was sorted. Imagine, no, she said it in Kikuyu and yes. it sounded very wrong, but I'll say it how she said uh -huh. it. She told me, now imagine, lewa subui, I laughed and laughed and laughed, laughed. So like, what did you just say? And she's an elderly woman. Yes. She told me, yes, let me tell you, my stool is now finally out of that stomach. Where were you all the time? Yeah. And I was like, why did you compare it to an orgasm? She was like, oh, I felt so good. But you know, there's that feeling you feel when you go to the washroom and it cooperates. Like <laughs> Yeah, with that one, yes. there's that feeling you feel when yes. you go to the washroom and it's, then it's, things just and she go had constipation it. before. So uh -huh. now it was a, such a relief. Yeah. And I was like, oh, thank you, God, that finally mm -hmm. someone can pass stool. Yes. Something as simple as passing stool. Good. So for me, it's just. It's just the things we take for beautiful. granted. Yes. Good. Eh? Yes. I'm happy for you. Thank As I you. said, your Thank win you. is our win. Thank you. For me to have people receive this information in even in such a platform mm. by just watching, having just Wi-Fi mm. or data and just watching mm. makes me happy. I've but watched our show four times and I was here. It's, Good. I, I assume like I was not here because it's so informative. Mm. Thank you so much. I love it. Eh? Yeah. And today we are not leaving our brothers, our husbands, yes. our our you know our 
fiancés, yes. our uncles, we are not leaving them behind because mm. I know the other time we did cater mm -hmm. to our women, mm. we did that. Mm. But for me, even the thing that surprised me before we started rolling, mm. I told you blue balls and you were like, nah. <laughs> Those are not blue balls, <laughs> like, and you know, I want to have you lead this conversation. You are the pro, but today we are talking to our men, yes, and we are talking a couple of three, th a couple of things, mm. three of which mm. actually affect so our men much. significantly. Mm. Talk to me about these things so that we know. Leo Tunalan, um, today we will talk about the issues that one men are so scared of ever talking about because. I've come to learn the hard way that it really affects a man's self-esteem in one way or the other. Mm -hmm. The first one is erectile dysfunction. When a man cannot have a firm erection that will get him to get the sexual pleasure. The other one is premature ejaculation. Mm -hmm. And these two, most people keep confusing. So they'll call you and tell you, Carol, I'm having premature ejaculation. Then when you listen, you realize it's not premature ejaculation, it's erectile dysfunction. Then another one, it's like that. Then we'll talk about enlarged prostate gland. This one affects men above 40. However, I've seen men being affected even before 40. Mm -hmm. But mostly the men are above 40 because of reasons that I will explain, yeah. they get they get to experience prostate, swollen prostate gland. Mm -hmm. That one is not prostate cancer. In mm -hmm. the swollen prostate gland, we'll talk about, we'll separate prostate cancer and the, um, it's called, I've forgotten, but let's call it yes. uh, swollen prostate gland for mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. That is, uh, so that way we'll have, a we'll have looked at all the men, all the ages. Okay. So we we'll look at the erectile dysfunction for the younger people who are watching and they have been coming to me mostly because of masturbation and pornography when they were young and now that they are married, they mm -hmm. can't have an erection and they have a question, why? And then there is this younger, there is another middle-aged uh, group that is busy building houses and buying cars and they are under stress. And then they tell you, I'm not functioning. I'm not feeling the oomph the way I used to feel. Mm -hmm. Then there's the older generation, the older man who says, I, when I was young, I used to do these Get things. I, now these days, I don't know what is happening. Uh -huh. My energy is low. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'm not able to pee very well. Maybe I'm even peeing blood. So those are the questions that we are here to answer. Good. Yes. Take us through. Each, one by one. One by one. We got time. We start with the one that almost every man is scared about. Is scared of. Yes. Erectile dysfunction. So we can maybe start by what is an erectile function mm. because that is called dysfunction. Function. So what is function? Okay. It means that there's a communication in your body starting, I mean, uh, the, there's a communication in the body. And unlike what we talked about, I don't know, uh, we talked about uh, women mm -hmm. and how, how our sexual desires do not just come physically. Our men, uh, it has to come from the brain. It comes from the mind and then to the penis, later to the heart. And huh? if it ever gets to the heart. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and that explains why a man can have sex with you and still say he never, he didn't love you. It was not about love. For them, it's that. Mind? Yes. Down there? Then kaput. If, if the heart will come in, it will yes. come in somewhere. Okay. However, a man, when he loves, now it goes to the heart. And mostly, most of the times, a man will only experience an orgasm. A man only experiences an orgasm very limited times in their lives. The rest of the time they ejaculate. Eh? Yes. Wait a minute. Yes. I'm Wait. a mother too. God, yes. what? Yes. An orgasm is totally different from an ejaculation for a man. So an amwaganin? Spams too, they'll just come out. Ejaculation, that's the process of ejaculation because I'll think of a lovely beautiful girl or I'll think of sex or I'll think of whatever it is that I think and then the chemicals from the brain pituitary gland will be sent and they will tell the penis to erect. When the penis erects, it will block the urine, uh, the, the way to the urine. I'll get into a woman, I'll pump in and out and then I'll just pour. But see, I thought coming signifies an orgasm. Not really. Ask men. They'll tell you Mo that <laughs> when... <laughs> it's a muga. Yes. They'll tell you. A very mature man who has experienced an orgasm can tell you the difference. And they'll tell you, I slept with Lynn. Something just... <laughs> like that is the orgasm. When it opens up the... But, well, they'll feel good with ejaculation, but orgasm, they say it feels crazy. And that is when the one who doesn't know says, 
Lynn amenikalia chapati. Like how is this guy? They even get they even get scared of this girl because it's like how did I feel something out of this world with this girl and I've never felt it with anyone else? That is an orgasm. We are confused all of us, <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> My people, we are together. Okay. Yes. So when you ejaculate, you can even ejaculate and just sleep and move on. You can ejaculate on a prostitute, you can ejaculate on your hands, you can ejaculate on Samantha. Can I ejaculate on anything? Mm. But an orgasm, you connect, you bond, you relate. And for a woman, the woman who can be very honest and who knows herself, she can know when a man gets an orgasm. How, how do you know? Oh, we know. And when we know, if you are a good woman, you will be Esther, Queen Esther. You will take care of him and you will really pamper his heart and all this. But if you are Jezebel, you will use that because you'll know he'll go anywhere else and he'll never find it. So how do you know? We want to make <laughs> want to sure know. We, are, we are not confusing. Our <laughs> because the and... way he re- he will behave during sex and after sex is totally different. You'll know he loves you. An orgasm, a man experiences orgasm only if he truly, honestly has opened his heart to you. Mm. So he is the, he'll not finish and start sleeping. There's a, I was having this conversation. Now, I'm not saying sleeping is not an orgasm, but yes. uh, I was having this conversation. You see, these are conversations that I have yeah. openly and I was yeah. having with another gentleman and he told me he has experienced what I'm talking about and he experienced multiple orgasms. Now, it's not like he even... He, like he even came, he can't explain whether it was an ejaculation, but multiple, he was even shaking like a woman. <laughs> and the whole time he was very confused. Why did I ever feel this? And he's still inside a woman and still feeling the goodness. And he, it's because he really loved that girl. Really loved that uh-huh. girl. And then another older woman, uh, an, old, an older man I had a conversation with, he told me, men uh, have something that is as soft as a feather that is hidden somewhere in their heart or in their man, mind or whatever. And that thing is so fragile. And when he finds that woman who gets to, ho- to know that soft and fragile good thing mm-hmm. and takes care of it, he will never be able to even cheat. Mm. He cannot be able to go out. He can never even imagine another woman. But if you ever break it, it can never return. If you break it, it is done. Okay. So th- it is something, it is not about sex. It's more of intimacy. And that is the only time a man will experience orgasm. And so if you want to experience orgasm as a man, you need a firm erection. You need a, mom- a woman who you will connect with and bond. There are different forms of intimacy. And you connect all these intimacies and you bring them together. Mm-hmm. And most men are really scared when they cannot have an erection. Let's begin with what an erection is. An erection is when the penis, when there is communication of hormones, and these hormones are proteins sent from the brain to the body, to the specific body parts. And when the, the, the message is sent, the blood flow is directed down. That is why, unfortunately, in Africa, I don't know whether you have heard this statement when they say a man cannot use both heads at the same time. <laughs> interpret heads for yourself in in even in even in my mother tongue this is called a head a head and this is a head so when men say give me head <laughs> <laughs> and they we say they, they were hit below the belt and that is the only place you cannot hit a man yes below the belt uh-huh. because that one is uh, serious stuff yeah so the blood is directed there and when he has an erection if he doesn't have self-control I want to use a very strange explanation okay. that I was given by another man because mm-hmm. this is men who give me. And they told me, you know, we were created according to the Bible. We were created and we lived with God. For You guys don't know what we were talking with God. You know, we are animals and we can bring out the animosity in us anytime. So when he's, he told me, if a man is, an, is still an animal, he'll not be able to control the erection. That's why he can, can sleep with anyone. Because the mind is telling you when the penis is erect, it is firm enough, it is standing like this, it just needs to go somewhere. So he can, if he, he is still an animal, mm. self-control is the only thing that separates a man from 
a man mm. like a crazy man and a good man mm -hmm. is separated by self control yeah. so when the erection comes the blood is pumping there the erection it's just like women how we feel on our clitoris when mm. we are mm. it feels like that and he thinks i need to get somewhere so that is what we are calling the affirm erection okay. so then when you go inside you need to know how to maintain okay the erection should be maintained for you to get an orgasm or to ejaculate mm. now there is some a man who will erect and when he's just about to go in it will refuse or it will die or it will ejaculate but naisha yes so now that is premature ejaculation uh, yes so, sadly so i have a question yes so it's very firm mm. before you enter yes then as you enter mm. it yes it dies or you just get in there and you just ejaculate there without even like you've really tried they tell me that they they really try to tell it please 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 don't come out please but it will still come out that's like a one minute man yes okay. or even less than a minute 30 seconds few minutes few seconds why what happens is okay let me not first go to premature ejaculation mm. let's first discuss this one who can't have it's not coming it's not standing at all or if it stands it is uh, soft fragile is it called fragile mm. it's, soft, eh? it's soft so it can be caused by different things um one it can be caused by injury maybe trauma maybe you had an accident it really it well it interfered on your spine like something that will break down mm. the communication mm -hmm. of the mind the to to the release of the hormones like for example there's a man who will tell me carol i've seen a beautiful girl or even i have my wife i'm looking at her i really want her sexually the mind really wants but the penis is not erecting that is now that one there is a disconnect of communication mm -hmm. so if the dis the disconnect can be caused by so many different things they could be caused by trauma it could be caused by some diseases like for example mm, uh, when you're when you're diabetic for long and you're taking medication and you get new nephro nephro nef ne nephrolism nephro something yeah mm -hmm. your nerves are affected mm -hmm. okay and so then the communication because the communication is not just blood vessels even the nerves are running to that yes, part yes. so um there are some diseases that will cause mm -hmm. the erection not to be there stress stress can cause a man not to have erection why because stress will release the cortisol stress hormone and it will inhibit the communication of this and so every man will tell you anytime i'm stressed the erection is maybe not there or it is there and it is soft however it is not for everyone mm. a certain age when you're a bit young you can be stressed and get farm throughout yeah, okay. and you just want to do it because your energy because of your adrenaline and all the energy mm -hmm. uh, then you can also be affected if for example you maybe you had surgery uh, maybe you maybe you had a disease that caused the surgery but mostly and, and also lifestyle if you are so used to drinking a lot of alcohol smoking cigarettes taking a lot of drugs and all these things they interfere with the messaging because this is like a traffic i always imagine our hormones our endocrine system is like the traffic police mm -hmm. when they start on the they they will they are the ones who guide the roads and say you go like this you go like this you go like this so if there is an interference like for example even when it rains see we have traffic yes. because there is an interference of the communication that is the same thing that happens to us from pituitary gland from from um thyroid to the pituitary gland to the liver and to the communication mm -hmm. most people when you have a an erectile dysfunction you assume the problem is the penis yet it is somewhere here so you have to go back and see like for example someone who has high blood pressure the the blood vessels are constrained they are constrained like this so it means the blood enough blood is not being pumped to the penis mm. so that person will experience the problem someone who is obese there is someone <laughs> who told us the other day that when you're obese it's like you're blocking it's like that what we just talked about the constipation how you feel like you really want to push mm. that is how much you strain your blood vessels to send blood here mm. so um especially katambi uh, the customer that uh, the is caused by maybe excess a consumption of beer it is a reflection that the liver is not functioning right and one day i'll explain to you why it comes here and not anywhere else it's because it's trying to cover up the liver because it thinks it's in danger Aww. yes so um if if the lifestyle if you're not eating 
like for example a man needs high zinc so that they can be able to produce testosterone testosterone is the hormone that makes the man a man that's why they speak mm, that's why they have mm. beards that is why they will desire sex if you have low testosterone then it means you will never you might not be desiring sex as well as you would mm. need mm. adrenaline so if all these hormones are suppressed by a low immune system your food if you are eating processed foods what is the problem with processed foods i know someone will ask processed foods have preservatives and additives mm. most preservatives and additives have synthetic estrogen the synthetic estrogen synthetic is it is not natural so when the synthetic estrogen gets into your body and i know even when we'll be doing about hormonal imbalance i will talk a lot about processed foods and estrogen so naturally when the body is the way a man is that is created inside a man there is a woman and there is a man even inside me and you there is a man and a woman mm -hmm. if the estrogen is raised testosterone will have no place to go so this man will be mm -hmm. less and they will have low libido mm -hmm. so it is very important to check what you are eating so that is when i got back and i started my own research to ask so with, what are these men what is this food that god has given us that can produce an erection god has given us food that can give you an erection and he told me one thing just think of a tree the tree outside for it to stand this farm where does it find its strength down there down there the roots and what protects the tree mm. the bark mm -hmm. and then the seeds will keep reproducing because remember a man has a responsibility of reproducing so if you want to have a farm and healthy and normal erection feed on foods that come from the roots the bark of a tree and the seeds of a tree this is this these foods if you look at them they are high in zinc they are high in calcium they are good they have good amount of magnesium they have mm. all these good amounts of the hormones that you need i mean the minerals that you need for you to have an erection and that is when people ask me but caro you uh, how come we take a blue pill and we get an erection because when i looked at the research and i tried to understand the genesis i understood that it was being created to help someone with high blood pressure mm -hmm. so that it to to lower the blood pressure but they realized as the blood pressure is lowering the penis is erecting so and that is the explanation and yeah. most people think that people die of blue pills because of high blood pressure no it lowers the blood pressure until you die mm. so the diet is very very important so that the blood flow can go to the penis mm. and then exercise you have to physically exercise you have to exercise you don't have a choice for you to get a firm erection and then prepare your mind um the penis is very sensitive just like the clitoris and if it is touched if it is played with it can be able to feel sensitive and it can of course by some you can tell your partner to help you yeah. by just touching touching it and you know playing with it there are those people who decide uh, blow jobs i mean they, however you will do it mm -hmm. find a way of making it sensitive <laughs> muga stop <laughs> <laughs> Yes and actually if men can be can tell you the whole truth when it's not op when it's not rising up they really do that they really try oh you find them really trying <laughs> so these are things they share with me yes. they tell me ni meiguza ni me i tried anything because the nerves are alive and let me shock you this is a secret i'll tell you on camera men think that we don't have a penis imagine we have who women we have we have what we have a penis a, a better one a better than theirs you know oh, yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. yes our clitoris my body has a yes your clitoris can how small is mine it is not small you what you see with your eyes is just small part your clitoris goes up to this part yeah but it looks not like a penis it is if it we were open if we were to open it it is bigger than their penis That is why our clitoris are different sizes. Hold on. My god, I don't think I look at myself. <laughs> what you are saying in and me, uh, yes. there is that cadot yes. and then, then there's like a whole yeah, yes. Like that this. Is, the sensitivity comes all the way to but here. But shape like this. Okay. 
no, it is not like that. It it is just going like this. It's holding like a, a baby's cup, ah. and it has more than eight thousand nerves. Their penis has four thousand nerves. Okay, Scola, we are many. <laughs> Wait, what? so we we think that we should, and that is why I still believe a woman should and enjoy sex more than the man. So the same way they take care of the penis, they should take care of the clitoris. That was not the point. No, it's the, now it's the point. <laughs> because we, <laughs> now we go make yes. it a point. Yes, I want to show you how yes, sensitive their is. penis is mm. and our clitoris is. So we should care uh, care for each other the same way we care for, like the same way we care for our clitoris. Yeah. We should care for our penis. So you are recommending we touch touch? Yes. We, you touch touch yes, your ask person. Our, ask our Ugandan uh, senge. They, they are taught how to touch and to pull it so that it can be long when they are young. Hallelujah. Away, <laughs> uh, what? Yes, because the nerves. It's a, it's all up. And remember, in this world, your clitoris has no other work other than to give you pleasure. No other work, nothing. Mm. So, but now for men, they they use it now to pee. Mm. But they have no, but they are very sensitive. So touching, touching, because your nerves are wakened up by mm. touching. Mm. And God gave us the five senses. And five senses should be used in sex. So I have a question for the yes. ladies that are watching. Mm -hmm. So who should be touching, touching? The man should be touching, touching himself or the mm. woman should be touching, touching the man? The, the woman should touch the man. So if it's like this, yes. guys, I'm just, I'm trying my best to make sure you all understand. Yes. If it's like here and here, mm. where should they be touching, touching? Everywhere, even the testicles. Like, sh yes. Okay. okay, not roughly. Oh, like no. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, help which? it. Uh -huh. Help it. You know, and also you are talking. You know, you are really, it's, you're just waking up the nerves. How would you want to be touched? I want everyone to always remember, how would you want to be touched? Like then this. touch the other person like that. Yes. Like you know, like, Not yes, marry, with some land. love, with, with some, and remember, a man is masculine, so he's a bit firm. He needs a soft touch. Soft touch. Soft touch. Mm. And also encourage him. You know, it's, don't worry, it will, it will rise. And even if it doesn't rise, I'm here for you. Are you wait. Yes. My encourage gosh. him. Okay. I mean, don't do it when you are standing. Ah, one. It's okay. <laughs> okay. So, what else should someone do apart from you, touching? You touching? can even blow job it. Okay. If you are okay, okay with that, I know there are people who are not okay with that. If mm. you are okay with it, the sensitivity we are raising the sensitivity. Mm. You can kiss it, and you, there are those who even pray for over it. Mm. You can pray over it and mm. tell it, please. Sir, wake Rise up. up. Rise up. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, rise no, up. Eh? Look at me. I'm here. Mm -hmm. A hey, poor woman, mm. poor daughter of God. Come eh, on now. Wanting this. Eh, Come on. Pray. Whatever you can, just mm. involve. Like the, just always remember. You know, there's, there's it's so many times as women we think we are the only ones who wants to be touched. Mm. Even men want to be touched. And it's also very sensitive, uh, even the testicles and behind the testicles, that is where the prostate gland is, we'll talk about it. Just below the testicles is where the prostate gland is, and it's very sensitive. So arouse him, also touch him, ask him where else he's feeling, uh, mm. the, the mashi, mashi. Mashi, mashi, and just go and yes. use, use those parts because we are waking up the nerves. Especially mm -hmm. someone who is diabetic, remember the nerves have really been affected. Or someone who had surgery or someone who had trauma, um, the, like spine trauma. Yes. So help them, just help them. And this is a message from men. I'm not a man, but they have told me. There's nothing that kills the ego, the, the esteem, everything of a man. They're like not having an erection. It really breaks them really really breaks them so as a woman please be there be kind just know that they've tried you see now the way we are wired yeah sometimes when he can't have an erection the first reaction as a woman you think he's going out you think you're not beautiful enough you think it's your fault maybe he doesn't love you enough that is how we are wired it's not always about us Sometimes it's about them. Mm. Sometimes it's psychological. Sometimes it's biological. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's physiological. Yeah. And sometimes they don't even know why they're not having an erection. So his self-esteem is already so low. And that explains why most people with erectile dysfunction, when you touch it and it arises, the most possible reaction, the most possible next, of, next cause of action is that they will have a premature ejaculation because mm. they are anxious. 
They're like, am I good enough? Did I, will I satisfy her? Um, they're always asking this question. Am I good enough? Because they want to show their prowess. Upon your, you know, they want to go and just do this. Mm -hmm. And he's trying to really to please you. So the erectile dysfunction, even when it is not as bad, some men will tell you, I now again, after it is there, it comes. I, I will uh, ejaculate yeah. when I'm not ready, which is now also a sister, uh, an, a sister relation between the erectile dysfunction and premature ejaculation. Mm -hmm. However, premature ejaculation, there are men who will tell you, I have a very firm erection, I am good, but when I get there and I feel, I always, I, I always want to help a woman understand what happens when a man goes in. Mm. You see your mouth. That is almost the same thing that is inside the vagina and a very fragile one. See this part? Yeah. This is how soft it is. That's how they feel. That's how they feel when they go inside there. Mm -hmm. See, it's warm. <laughs> <laughs> it's the warmth. Yeah. You see this part here? It has things like that mm. feel like this. Mm. That is how it feels inside. And then there is so he'll feel very sensitive and that is how they are created how a man is created when he gets into that environment he wants to pump 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 so that the seeds can be pumped and fa pump very fast so that the seeds can move it goes up the the sperms go to almost three inches zukondani so he is pumping like this so that this because he's coming here to procreate so he pumps and the seeds will go very fast mm. And that is because the show here is not to to to, to explain how it sh they should pump. I'll come and explain to you. Ah, Icaro. <laughs> that was my question. <laughs> okay, okay. So today is premature ejaculation. Yes. Now imagine when he gets inside, it's warm, it's soft, and it's it, the, the environment is very friendly. That is why they ejaculate. Some people ejaculate immediately. Mm. So it is, sometimes it's not your fault. Maybe in way too. Maybe, uh, it, sometimes it's not his fault. Don't be angry at him. And the point I'm trying to put across is don't be angry at him because maybe you are inside there. It was, it was too hot too. It was too sweet too. Oh. Maybe, so, maybe. So, so he, ja he ejaculated he's... before time. So if he's a 30 seconds man, like, so how do I make mine a bit colder so he can last longer? He don't make it colder. Eh. It's more psychological than for it is him, physical. Yes. For the man. Yes, it is very so, psychological. For the one minute man, mm -hmm. how can they last oh longer? God, they told me not to call them one minute long. Man, what they do they it want crushes to be their called? ego. It crushes their ego. But see, one minute is one minute. Okay, shorter. A shorter. Uh, but you know, shorter uh, is relative. Like yes. there are people who consider five minutes short, mm. ten minutes short. Mm. There are people who will even They say want average to go. seven minutes. Uh, even that one, I will ask you. Mm. But you know, there are people who will, you can even go for thirty minutes. Oh, that's sick. Okay. Okay. Mm. And then there are people who will go for thirty seconds. Yes, because so for mm. the people to understand, mm. I know it's not okay, but we gotta have to use the so one, one minute, minute man. man. Yes. So we I don't need mean to understand, mm. and this is not a titunini because mm. people so that people understand the yeah, concept the short, of time, the, con the shortness. So for one pass, one minute, or the ill shorter, shorter version, mm. what should they do to stop being a one minute? Number one is psychological. Most of the time, the premature ejaculation will come when a man is anxious about something. There, there are men who have told me how they were yearning for this woman for so long. And then when they got them, mm. they couldn't perform mm. because they were too anxious. Two, self-esteem of the man also really determines. When the man's self-esteem and ego are affected, he, 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 it becomes shorter. And then they told me something strange that I didn't know that when they are broke, it becomes shorter. So I, when there is no money in the pocket, uh, they they don't know how to function. I don't know how true that is. I don't know. <laughs> that is what they. You see, these are things that men tell me. See, he's, yes, he's saying it's true. <laughs> <laughs> these are things that we never. I never thought because their mind is somewhere. Yes, else. Uh, and they, they, and they told me the mind is not somewhere. They they are already feeling not good enough. 
for self you esteem. self esteem so self esteem is very important and then and this is where now i introduce for a man who is uh, experiencing uh, erectile dis- um, premature ejaculation the fourth and the uh, and now i'm s- s- talking about the things you don't need to buy mm. one the psychological talk to yourself and yes. encourage yourself find the where the your self esteem is affected if the money is the problem then don't have sex when you don't have money look for money Period. i mean <laughs> if that is the problem mm. but then number exercise. four kegel exercise Kigel exercise is um Kigel was Kigel is was a person who invented and even us women we do the Kigel I yes. I'm actually doing it right now I, yes it. men should do it and don't breathe with your tummy it's like you feel like you want to go for a long call and you're holding it yes. so you are using your pelvic area it helps the sperms from coming out when you are not ready as much as it if the problem is not so exaggerated they will you will be able to know how to control mm-hmm. number two, when you get there when you enter into the vagina and you found the environment is friendly for you to ejaculate you can slow down and engage your partner and if if you don't Carol, what do you mean pumping like don't if you have premature ejaculation and you go and pump and pump it will come out very fast so premature is like this like yes don't do that don't do that because it is the more you do that the more it is engaging the sensitivity of your penis so, and you'll feel happy and the ejaculate it oh, will just so ejaculate. do how like small S- small slowly mm-hmm. then stop okay. talk to your partner hey! you know. <laughs> 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 it's not talking <laughs> What time have we talked? So that one's a story. No, don't start <laughs> those ones. Tell her how beautiful she is. Okay, find something. So that you don't... Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes, because yes. the more... Ev- every time you enter, every time you come out like that, mm-hmm. your penis is very sensitive. Yes. It is feeling the warmth that we just talked about. <sighs> The, the the seeds will only always, always say you know what we are here to fertilize so mm-hmm. let's just come out mm-hmm. so just psych- very psychological and then now someone with uh, premature ejaculation also needs to look at the diet this is where now you look at the diet when someone has premature ejaculation i ask them how does your diet look like most people with premature ejaculation they will tell you they they are not friends to whole grain whole mm-hmm. grains um they are not friends to vegetables they are not fr- they are, their food is burger bag- yes it is full of the synthetic estrogen that we were talking about and so it has really tampered the communication from the brain because ejaculation also doesn't just come from here mm-hmm. it also comes from the brain mm-hmm. also the sex style also determines the premature ejaculation hallelujah sex style yes so missionary equals how many seconds <laughs> A man who is watching and will be very honest with us will tell us any time he tries the doggy style, it he will ejaculate faster. They need to confirm. Get your notebooks, <laughs> guys. <laughs> Can I flag that we have notebooks for LNN? Yes, yes, I have notebooks and pens for you guys. Order, plug in. Um, doggy style is yes. more yes. easier. They, it will. He will ejaculate faster. Okay. Yes. Uh, also depending with your partner and how you do it there are some styles when she's riding there are those who will tell you that when she rides i will come, come faster. faster yes so mm. get to know which sex style makes you come faster if you are getting through if you are going through premature ejaculation and it has you've worked on your self esteem you've worked on your diet and everything yes. don't be selfish mm-hmm. get to help the other part your partner be able to help you through it mm. yes so the sex style also really matters okay yes beautiful yes. so which one should you avoid uh, uh, in terms of in terms of <laughs> no, it depends with different couples there are those who want this there are those who will come fast when you are doing missionary then yeah. there are those who will come fast mm. when they are doing doggy so if style. you don't want to come fast avoid doggy style uh, not for everyone there are uh, men who will say i last longer when i'm doing doggy style okay yeah so but you just said doggy style for most men i told oh. them to tell us they'll tell us on the comment section they'll tell us i don't want to know who is answering but <laughs> is it true yeah <laughs> yes i told you <laughs>
So, because is of the, the positioning, yeah. yes, it's because of the position and uh-huh. the sensitivity uh-huh. of how the, how the penis is feeling okay. and also the view. Okay. Yes. N- and the Have view. you ever asked yourself why we are walking on the streets when a man sees someone with a good behind the turn? It's the view. Yes. It's the view. Am I lying? No, <laughs> you're not. Panza, I know an expert here, but it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so it's very psychological. Yeah. So take care of your lifestyle and reduce the alcohol if you are getting the premature ejaculation. Also work on a partner. If you are not comf- if the man is not comfortable mm-hmm. with the partner, he'll get premature ejaculation so easily. Mm-hmm. If the woman is always putting down the self-esteem, nagging, sometimes we women we cause the premature ejaculation. We do. Yes. So by, we also need to be yes, by being a nuisance. Okay. Yes. You said uh, there's something at least I I get to have this conversation with you. Yes. Uh, because I see our good friend also, Aliet, is speaking about it in his book Unplugged. Mm. Men being visual. Mm. Like, they are. It, that like you gotta pull up a, a, a move mm. for your man, mm. the dress, mm. the lingerie, mm. all those things. Talk to me. And about don't do it just for him. Do yeah. it for yourself. So we talked about self love. Yes. I wear whatever I feel like. I, I'll, I'll, I'll wear a lingerie for me. You can go to bed. You don't have to, to do it for him. Because if you do it for him, yeah. if he doesn't notice, you will feel bad. Mm. And Or even if he notices, maybe it, yeah. like it will not be story. natural. Yes. It will not be natural. Mm-hmm. But when you do it, mm. like when you woke up in the morning, when I woke up in the morning and I chose this dress and I was feeling sexy in it, you will, ha- you, will you can't help but see me as sexy because mm. I already feel sexy. Okay. How do you see me sexy if I'm not seeing myself sexy? sexy. So don't do it for him. Do it for do yourself. It for yourself. And, eh? <laughs> okay. That is one thing mm. I've learned for you to be able to enjoy sex. It has, as a woman, it has to come from you first. And by the way, when you go there, me, I'll come here for this whole session for women. When you go there, it's not for him. It's for you. Girl, you're gonna enjoy. You have to do it for you. You will you are, move mountains. If you have not, you are not in. You are not getting enough. Ask for more. Yes. Go and get. <coughs> come and ask me. Mm. <coughs> which tea can you make? Oh, give him that tea. He will start sweating on his nose. He won't know. He won't leave that house. So which tea? <laughs> <laughs> off the camera <laughs> anyway today was about men yeah let's stick to the topic <laughs> let's stick to the yes, topic yes so if that man is watching us and he has a erectile dysfunction and he has a premature, a premature ejaculation mm-hmm. these are some of the things that you can do one drink water drink plenty of water to help uh, rebuild your system and also open up the blood flow mm-hmm. number two physical activity and the shocking revelation that i learned don't overdo the gym. It also causes premature ejaculation when you overuse your muscles. Don't overdo it. Everything mm. in moderation. Do okay. physical activity. Yeah. I've I've been treating quite a number of men with who decided to build so many muscles and now sexually they are not functioning. So you have a the six communication. Pack and yes. But down there is yes. now okay. Yes. Yeah. So don't overdo everything. Mm. So mm. physical activity. If you are if you are the kind that can skip rope, skip the rope. If you can go to the gym and do it, don't overdo the muscles. Mm-hmm. Do a whole, it's called heat. Yes. Do whole something. Mm. Okay, number three, get enough sleep. Sleep also interferes with your premature ejaculation and erectile dysfunction. Number four, check if you are masturbating and watching pornography because it really affects. Even if you watched when you were 17 and now you're 40, it will affect you. How so? One, we have talked about it being very psychological. You will, um, there's, there's something I was told yesterday by a, a gynecologist. He told me a man will erect only if he triggers his thoughts, either thinking of a very beautiful woman or thinking about someone he loves or he, it's never at a, it just happened. Mm-hmm. No. There's always the thought first. So if you are used to pornography, you will only erect for the girl that you you watched yes, so. or the movie or the, the magazines and all these things, not for this one that you are with. Mm. So when you get to this one, you will not, I'm told, I'm told a man can easily, now this is, you see, the, the beauty is with they share. Yes. 
they, they share these stories mm-hmm. that he can have sex with you but he'll he'll assume he's having sex with someone else he'll put the face of someone else and that is when he will enjoy mm-hmm. i don't know whether you've heard of women telling you i last night that my husband was not having sex with me mm-hmm. ama he called he called me Jerry mm-hmm. yeah, when he was doing it hey. he that erection was not you as it was for Jerry hey. jamani <laughs> lakini wewe ni catalyst wewe ni you are just <laughs> you my people <laughs> so when you are used to pornography yeah. one you will expect what you watch to be what you are getting and maybe the person you are with cannot be able to do the acrobats that you've watched number two, you have attachment to that you, you it's psychologically you've really affected um, mm. for masturbation men use masturbate they are use their hands to masturbate Uh, unless if you g- they get Samantha I think men use their hands the hand is not as soft as the vagina as we've just talked about number two, the hand you can control you can choose the size that you want mm. then you can tell it how firm it can be mm. and so when you get used to masturbation you reduce this you over sensitize your penis mm. because the hand is very firm mm. it is not the environment that god created to be natural number two, you can you you uh, w- when you go into a vagina yeah. it will not feel the same again so the satisfaction will mean you will have to go and masturbate to finish up what you started to feel that. like literally you think masturbation is just your own problem you because you're thinking ah see i'm not hurting anyone i'm doing it but you are even hurting this woman who you are going to try and have mm. sex with mm. i got a couple who um they 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 are, uh, they are looking for a child but the husband he masturbates in the bathroom and pours those sperms in the bathroom instead because he can't when he tr- he has sex with the woman mm. he will have prolonged ejaculation the one that you would doing it and doing it and doing it and never ejaculating that for 30 minutes mm. now that is also a problem mm. and then because the seeds know we only come out with the hand they refuse to come out when it is the woman and that is a very difficult scenario mm. because again he won't you won't allow him to go to the bathroom and masturbate and bring the sperm in a container and i mean it I, it's because th- that addiction now is costing them their marriage and it's it's a very sad affair mm-hmm. and imagine how that woman feels that he wakes up leaves the bed to go and masturbate in the b- bathroom when you are there and you know it it's hard so it it really affects and mm-hmm. it it, a, it it affects the psychology mm-hmm. so most men who masturbated when they were younger or even when they are older it really affects it cause it can cause erectile dysfunction and premature ejaculation or both depending on mm-hmm. the intensity mm-hmm. also depending on the partner that you got mm-hmm. yes wow. so you check whether you did the masturbation if you come to me and and we realize it was because of masturbation even this won't help we start with the mind first we start with the mind first and then we heal the mind yeah. then number five, you have to look at your diet so i want to feed you cake i'm giving you cake ah, Carole, i mm-hmm. said not to to eat Mm-mm. cake but i wanted to eat cake i made it specifically for you and i'll take as well because one of the <laughs> i wanted to taste it and tell the audience how it tastes see how it is It's not something bad. <coughs> Is it a cake? <coughs> Why you not trust me? Carlos <coughs> Utamu. <coughs> so they It's have a... some water. Mm. Is it so bad? Okay, in a donjo mtu akiendelea. Mm. Like, But it's not the hold on. Just uh uh-huh. <laughs> It's like ungaya brown. Mhm. Uh-huh. Hey, that's my tummy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's my tummy. <laughs> so now uh-huh. Actually, hmm. It's an acquired taste. Mhm. But I got to say 
It's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's I hold, that I bad. brought a whole packet for the crew. Everyone will taste and tell Thank me. Thank you for considering my people. Uh, yes, they have it's to not take. That because bad. this is the challenge I've been having. When I tell women mm. and men that one of the most damaging things we have in our diet is gluten, which is as which is uh, mostly <coughs> from wheat and so many other grains. Mm -hmm. Most men suffering from this is because they are being fed six chapatis, ten mandazis, Ugali. a lot of, you know. And they asked me, so then if we are not eating wheat, what do we eat? That cake has no wheat. Mm -hmm. And I have plenty of more I've brought. Some made from sweet potato, uh, sweet potatoes, some from yams. This has no unga? That one has no wheat. Mm? What's this? It's a, it's, a, it's a cake. Yeah. And I can make it from anything. But this one I chose specifically with a flour from Ethiopia called teff. Teff is, teff is wheat. It's no, it's gluten free. It's gluten free. But unga though. Yes, it is. A, it's like um, when you powder it, it will look like unga. Mm -hmm. I used brown teff. That is why you feel like it's tasting different. Mm. So wheat is sweet because you really have you have a, you have acquired that taste of wheat. Mm -hmm. But for anyone who is not used, they will tell you that it is not sweet. The same mm. thing. I used to think sugar is good until when I stopped, I realized ah, yuck, it's not the sweet. Mm. So our and men, it's very light. Yes, there are so many different things that our wives can, our wives and girlfriends can feed us, like sweet potato. Mm. Uh, you can feed, uh, you can doma. feed doma. You mm. can feed the natural foods, yeah. and you can still make them as a cake, as ugali, as anything that you want. Even chapo, you can make from pumpkins. So let us stop limiting our mindset. Mm. A woman, if you ever, if you want your man to be able to have an erection. No, look at the food that you are feeding your man. Stop blaming the man, and yet you are feeding them shallow food. And I'm the taking the blame. Yes. <laughs> 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 then don't ask for that sex. Don't ask him for a for farm erection. I'm taking the blame back to the woman because she's the one who is in charge in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. However, that is just a gender role. If mm. the man can cook, you go ahead and cook. But if in mm. your house mm. all you serve in the evening is chapati, is 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 uh, is uh, uh, processed foods, then don't expect a farm erection in bed. I have a question yes. on the cake because huh? yes. it's really good. Eh? Mm. But what is the sugar thing I'm tasting? I've I've put honey. Mm. I have gluten free without sugar and mm. without. I've, I'm, mm. I've been doing a lot of experiment, mm. and I recently got from our last show. Uh, our second uh, our Senegal friends mm. told me about fonia. Mm -hmm. Is another flour that is gluten free, mm. and I'm going to get it. This is very good. Yes. Do you sell this? Yes. You sell it. Yes. Mm. Okay, that's yes. good. So I'm saying mm. I wanted I want the woman to also take it as a responsibility. Mm -hmm. When you have a cow, yeah, and you want to milk some, you want to milk, mm -hmm. you have to feed the cow. I did not just call men cows, but you have to feed the cow. Mm -hmm. When you want to milk, cow and dog could let her see the show. <laughs> no, I'm, uh, it's just an illustration. <laughs> um, notice me, napenda illustration. No, sana. come on, we are joking. So mm -hmm. you have to feed it, and then milking time, you have to go with some warm water, with some arimis, and then with like a good kakitamba, and then you have to. So as much as it the it has everything to do with the man, the erection and the premature election, erection has uh, ejaculation has to do with the physically with a man. Mm -hmm. A woman has ha also has a major role to play mm -hmm. in creating that erection okay. that she wants. Mm. So feed, the amount of milk that, that you will get is how much you have taken care of your yes, cow. Yes. Okay. So go and look for black maca. This is a root. Mm. It's a look, it's, it comes from the roots. Black maca powder. Go and look for mkhombero. Who doesn't know mkhombero? Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. The roots. Mm. Uh -huh. Go and look for. Oh, so it, uh? it does. Go and look yeah, for Prunus one. Africana. This is what Moiri. is this? Uh, mm. Prunus Africana is scientifically known how to yes. treat to treat even prostate yeah. cancer. So this, like this one, is a mixture of. Uh, it's a blend of several plants that are mm -hmm. put together mm. to give the erection. So erection can come from the roots. Okay. Feed this man. There are two things I'll tell a woman for free. I'll not even sell it for you. Look for watermelon that is good and look for beetroot. 
for that erection to be able to be firm enough it is there and it needs to be firm it needs nitric oxide nitric oxide every day make some smoothie or give feed your husband with beetroot and watermelon it will be long and firm for longer so one even is it aisha for market they are rich in nitric oxide and look at both of them they have a very beautiful color yes and then another secret is if you have premature ejaculation the nitric oxide is what you need to maintain that firm erection mm -hmm. when you're having sex stop breathing with your mouth <laughs> breathe with your nose also don't go when you especially when you get excited you will ejaculate very fast mm. you will ejaculate very fast so breathe like it will regulate the amount of oxygen that is going into mm. the penis. Hallelujah. Yes. So now you'll be like hiyo <sighs> nimekubaliana na And when you feel he's about to come help him, remind him. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> and then it will help you calm down mm. and the nitric oxide will maintain a, an erection faster. Yes. Hizo zote zikikulemea come and get tabea takum indio vagina happiness yes, but for men version. for the men oh, okay. and it is made from organic natural products like cinnamon turmeric flaxseed black seed ginger ginseng it is just a honey paste the only challenge i'm facing right now is that i've used honey and there are people who are allergic to honey mm. so i don't i'm looking for an alternative mm. but it's a mixture of natural products you put it you don't get used to this so you rub it down there no you eh. take a teaspoon ah oh yes you just take a teaspoon, teaspoon. Mm -hmm. eh <laughs> 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 At least take a teaspoon in a day. Oh. I mean, yes, like an hour before. And if you don't have this, hey. let me give you another secret. Mm -hmm. I didn't know this until I realized men are buying so much black seed oil from my 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 office. Mm -hmm. And I asked one one friend who is not even Kenyan but he's in Gong, yes. why do you buy so many black seed oil? And he told me, did you know if you put the black seed oil in the right amounts together with good quality of honey it's a natural viagra i was like huh eh let me see so i learned that the black seed oil in its natural state untampered and diluted it will help open up the blood system and it will not give you an erection very fast it will be slow and sure and longer okay. that is a natural one yes so even this don't expect you will swallow and get there and then even these plants his erogenous really mm. helps men but it's not that you swallow and then it erects no do it an hour earlier it is even here it is written caution this is not a, a an instant viagra do not expect an instant erection it is a whole because these are natural things mm. even mukombe when you eat i have then the last the other thing you have to go back this that is the sixth thing you have to go back and start eating seeds if you want an erection and a, a long a, a longer mm. ejaculation mm. seeds pumpkin seeds sim sim seeds why because the seeds are also helping with the zinc and the level of the 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 production of all these things yes. so men be friends with uh, seeds chia seeds chia seeds uh -huh. flax seeds yes. all these things but now it everything we've talked about it in, in moderation. moderation i really admire our western brothers in the western market when you walk in you will find all sorts of mm. jugu mm. and they are always like this i i really have not tested the power of the seeds but i know they must be doing something good yes mm. but let us go back instead of feeding on foods that don't have seeds and snacks instead of taking Uh, processed snacks why don't you be snacking in your car put some seeds yes have some seeds yes. almonds cashew nuts uh, avocado seeds and all these things mm. and be snacking mm. on those ones then stop the energy drinks god wait what sugar yeah what happens when you take too much sugar it will interfere it will spike the insulin and the insulin will reduce the testosterone and mean cause many other problems so reduce the sugars the processed sugars i did not say remove however when you take too much energy drink there are those people who tell me i don't drink alcohol but i drink energy drink mm. you're in the same category 
smoking. When you smoke, it has more than 3,000 chemicals that are going to interfere with an erection. So don't smoke and expect an erection. Mirani poor. No, even now that one is even worse. The seed, the sperms will start leaking like this. That's the challenge I'm trying, I'm de dealing with now. You could have mirror. No, I don't. No, not like, you. <laughs> and then they just start coming yes, out the like women, that. the men are coming now to me and they are very young men he's just walking and the sperms are just leaking they are just mm -hmm. leaking because of the chemical effects mm -hmm. Talk you. Mm -hmm. yeah, Result new. it really affects the sexual <laughs> okay. progress of a okay. man okay. so you cannot expect to to plant this and harvest this it mm. cannot it does not work like mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. so you have to if, and you see the challenge we have is when you are young a man can a man really is um very active in his 20s his sexual is like on another level his mm. energy at 20 if you tell him he'll ever 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 talk about in erection at 60 he'll not even believe and there's a man who told me at he, if i ever wake up and find i don't have an erection i will kill myself he was only 20 something i told him young man please shut up because you are not even where you, you you you've not seen men mm. i mean there's an age that you will get you can't live you you have to wake up and to wake it up because it has to wake up mm. um and so your diet your lifestyle and also your psychological state you need to really take care mm -hmm. of it mm -hmm. then the the when 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 we say someone has erectile dysfunction is when they can't have an erection once twice it's not at every day Every man will exp experience erectile dysfunction once in their life or twice or thrice depending on yeah. the stage. When mm -hmm. they are under stress, they'll go through it. But if you have it over six months, every morning you're waking up, there's no erection. Because every man should erect in the morning, which is how we test that the testosterone mm -hmm. is still being produced. Mm -hmm. Even a baby, when you're washing the baby and you touch the penis, it will erect. Traditionally, um, I, I, I hear that traditionally our grandmothers used to check by lifting the baby and then touch playing with the mm -hmm. penis and mm -hmm. if it erects she will bless the penis to go and procreate mm -hmm. yes so erection should be something that is normal so where what we are calling dysfunction is when you don't have it mm -hmm. for a long time mm -hmm. but not one day you don't wake up and say oh i didn't have it so i have erectile dysfunction no try again and again and again but over six months if it's there there's a problem then you know there's a problem wow. now the challenge comes in when someone gets it the first time the second time he's scared of it not being there the more anxious you are the more it will be disappear so you will keep saying i have a problem and maybe it is more psychological mm -hmm. and it's also psychological because men really talk i can see munga really enjoying this conversation but if you tell him to talk to another man about this he won't, they, they don't talk about it mm -hmm. and but only when they find a safe place they always talk so why wow. don't we also become a safe place for, for the them men, to talk. especially for our sisters. I know a man can easily talk to the sister. However, I doubt even. Okay, well, there are some brothers who will tell you they have erectile mm. dysfunction, but mm. sisters, we can, we have a challenge of becoming mm. safe place for our brothers, safe place for our friends, yes. for our male friends, safe place for our partners, for our husbands, and all these I things. I love that. Yes, we we also have a responsibility. Good job. Yes. Today we kicking it to peleke ata to sasa. Yes, so your tattoo, it okay. affects men as, okay, so prostate gland. Prostate gland is located just under the, under the testicles. There's a line that goes up to the anus there. And previously, before we even learned how to do a prostate cancer test through blood, men used to get the test through, the doctor would put fingers into the anus mm. and touch the glad to feel if it's there. Mm. So you can be able to feel it. So it's a glad that God created. It's like it's like our their womb. This is the way we value our yes. womb. It's like theirs. That is the the major the the head office actually prostate gland is the mm. head office of all these businesses it's it, it it knows how to re to connect and relate all these things about spa production semen production and communicate with testicles yes. it's the head office and so it is it is small it is a small thing but after because of age as a man ages at some point it starts swelling without trigger Maybe it was uh, because 
the age or maybe because of how they lived when they were a bit younger but somehow we, there's no really explanation why it swells like there's no mm. no we can't say it's because he didn't have sex or it's because he had so much sex i know there's that myth that if you don't have too much yes. if you don't have sex for long you will get prostate cancer or something or it will swell so when it is swollen it can be to either benign or malignant when it's malignant is when we say it's cancerous mm -hmm. when it is benign it has it is not cancerous however it can swell and swell and swell and swell and block because the bladder is not very far it will block the bladder mm -hmm. and the man will not be able to urinate at mm -hmm. some point unfortunately men come to uh, to hospital when it they are urinating blood or when they cannot urinate mm. because anything that relates to them they don't want they, they you don't want to really go and discuss so the first among the first symptoms is when you're going to pee and you feel like you have to push it mm. or you are going to pee you feel like hey, i am so pressed when you get to the toilet you just pee okay? just like a little bit those are some of the first symptoms and then yeah. most men don't talk about it and then later it will become even they will not be able to pee others will start having back pains and pelvic area pains and they will treat it with uti infection all these things but how we know if you have a swollen prostate blood is we can do a blood test and also we also we can do an ultrasound mm -hmm. and then when we see it is swollen we confirm it is not malignant it can be reversed especially if you come early however if you come when it's too late there's nothing i can do they have to do surgery and create a pathway for the urine mm. because it is blocked wow. so a man needs to be able to listen to their urine and know is it coming out you see um, i hear when when men are boys they have the urinate they even have a competition of how they will urinate because the penis is able to shoot to, to shoot wherever but as you grow old the same way you are not able to pee like that okay. and you realize you are peeing like this but it's coming here mm. you start and you start knowing ah okay i need to take care of myself and the prostate gland its health will be determined by all the things you did when you were younger wow if you want to pro to prevent it from swelling does not mean that 100% it will not swell because mm. you did those things if you maintain a healthy lifestyle the preference of getting the prostate swollen prostate gland is minimal but if you are doing all sorts of food that we are talking about and then when you get old you would expect that the prostate gland will swell mm. but god in his own infinite ways he has given us plants to be able to reverse the challenge i've seen is when a man gets swollen prostate gland and he already hates himself he thinks because some some men when it is swollen he will not have he will have a premature ejaculation mm. or erectile dysfunction and he will feel he's not a good enough man and he will hate himself and he will not even go and seek medical advice or others will self treat yeah. and they will do all this yet it is something that we can be able to reverse mm -hmm. it is not once or twice or thrice i've been able to have met men when they are on their way to surgery when i listen and when i see the case i'm like please give me a chance give me one month if it does not if we are not able to reverse in mm. one to three months mm -hmm. then you can go for surgery yeah. and they have we have been able to reverse okay. using food because we just need to uh, revamp the immune system revamp the zinc production revamp the testosterone revamp everything and that is why i created this package mm. for the prostate gland mm -hmm. health package mm -hmm. so this is a package not for the sick but for anyone who wants to prevent so it's it's a mixture of plants and everything i write here mm. so you can go and do your own research mm -hmm. and decide what what to do so solid mm. prostate gland i've seen it with the older men okay there's no specific cause so i can't tell you what yeah. the cause is yeah but it is reversible don't wait until you can't pee don't wait until you can't pee mm. yeah eat healthy stuff yeah your seeds yes Beautiful. seeds roots and the back mm -hmm. what's this those are uh, indigenous is leaves. Is it only uh, mm. To boost your immunity. They are indigenous leaves. Not for just libido. <laughs> no, not for libido. <laughs> okay. Yes, mm. those are plants because mm. all these things that we've talked about, mm, sorry. if your immune system is compromised, because yeah. it's all about communication in your body. Mm. So if the immune system is not functioning, right, mm. how will it, how, and, uh, how will the message be sent? Yeah, and I think there's no shame in having this conversation yes. even with your partner. Yes, you have the conversation with your partner. 
it mm. is very important. So, Men should stop thinking this is something they should not talk about. Mm. Sometimes it breaks my heart that I am a woman who is having to help men. But I also thank God that I'm the one who chose to do this mm. because men are my best clients. And I can see the reception is good for yes, men, yes. which is actually an advantage. Mm. It's good to know men are actually taking yes. initiative. Yes. It's and good I hope to the know. younger men can come and learn so that they can help the other men. The other men mm. and create a, you know, a an environment where we can be able to share a safe space safe for this space for men for, that's true uh, mm. now mm. you spoke of before i let you go on this one you <laughs> spoke of, you spoke of uh, smooth touch nini nini as a woman mm. apart from you know smooth touch where else should you touch your man i think uh the problem is you know we've always said women we have this we have that we yes, have that yes. men just mm. have this yes. so and those two, two nini. So where I should you touch your man to feel my tummy? <laughs> and the way you've talked about this, I mm. just remembered I have a sex lubricant that I, I, I carried that a you what? can, uh, um, an oil that you can rub the penis with. Simuga, you see now there's something <laughs> to rub. <laughs> So that you can increase the sensitivity. Yes. Where is it? It, it is somewhere in a bottle, somewhere. This yes. one here? Yeah? Let yes. me see. Yes, somewhere. So this there. one you can thank you, Damaris. You can rub so and it one... has no problem when it it enters the woman's vagina. It Even has no... for a woman it's nice. Yes. It has no effect. Yes, it has no effect. So why can't women rub this for sensitivity also? Uh, because if we the have the happy vagina and also this is a lubricant for to make sure that uh, whenever they have this is for the woman with a dry vagina this one yes this one a woman if, with a dry vagina can put yes you can when you're having there. sex yeah when you're having sex okay yes. you put on your man so yes, you put on yes. yourself so when you're when you're so, when Let you're massaging him use it to soften my hair <laughs> <laughs> the waist <laughs> yes, you can you can use it to even massage him. So for a man, we can the same. It smells nice. It smells really nice. You can even massage his back. Mm. I know um, for the open-minded person who have chosen to see things that are happening in the world, yeah. we've seen you've seen someone using ice cubes and chocolate on someone's back. Yes, men's back are very yes. sensitive. Even even us, even for us. It's very sensitive. The ice yes. cubes. The ice the, cubes. Can you you can do that? Down. But you can also use your nails. On the back, and this. <laughs> <you know. laughs> uh-huh. Use, you know. Yes, he's, yeah. he, of course, they are also sensitive. As men and women, we are all sensitive, mm. and we have said, let us use. They also have the nerves, yeah. the same nerves that we have. This area, this pelvic area, oh, it's very sensitive for a man. Just for touch months. it with, within passing. Yes. <laughs> now we know. Now when we see you with them, Tajua. So kama hizo ndizo zitasaidia washa ziweko. So all these parts are sensitive the same way we are said. Actually even their nipples are very sensitive. A man's nipples are very sensitive. Try and bite them. <laughs> as sensitive as ours mm. literally we assume that we are not the same but we are more similar than we are different Good. the same sensitivity you feel is the same, same one the same thing that i tell men you know when you're being rough on the a woman's vagina imagine she feels the way you would not want someone playing the tip of your penis don't don't be so rough on for us it's a very sensitive part so mm. the same sensitivity they have there are those who will tell you they are they and behind the knee uh, touch, yeah. Chini, yeah, touch. Just mm. love them. Everyone mm. wants Even to be loved. Even that one for a woman is nice. Mm. For here, everyone wants to be loved. The You've problem is that one. Yes, for touch yes, here, yes, it's it, nice. The problem we have is we think sex is finish. That's what we think. It's like the two, 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 two. <laughs> Yes, done. done. 
Yeah. No, it's it's a whole process, mm. the foreplay, the enjoyment and all these things. That is what we are talking about. Good. It's the one that you prepare and, and you have your dark chocolate there, you have the mafuta there, you have the light that you told me it's not this light, it's no. that sexy night mm -mm. sensual you see, light. Like this one. Mm. <laughs> the theme like the, this one. Yes. This one the here. Team. Yeah. Sexy. Yes. It's very and then good. also also make sure and some music. See, and some what like hey, Asha steamer, like <laughs> that one, you know, how to wash a steamer, but you get the feel and the bedding set the mood, make the bedding also mm. bright colors. Yes. Bright colors are enticing. Ask yourself why all the five star hotels you've gone to they have white, bright sheets, sheets. beautiful, nice, beautiful. The yeah. environment, the ambience, mm. we also have them. You can even go and get some rosemary put in hot water, the pum will smell like rosemary. If you need an air freshener, take the orange pills, put in hot water, add some rosemary in a basin and put besides the bed. Okay, just be careful because you might lose your acrobats and yes. you burn yourself. Yes. Put it under the bed. Yeah. You have, God has given us so many plants that take mint, take lemon mint grass, you know, anything. Even lemon grass. Freshen your room. Yes. It should not smell like molds. If you can't afford the essential oils, do the leaves. Do what God has given us. Do the us. natural oils. Yes. Period. Yes, and let's do this. Let's do Men, this. Men, erectile dysfunction is not so bad. Premature ejaculation is not a death sentence. We can sort it out. Mm. Yes. See how good you are with this? It's beautiful. <laughs> no, it's actually, it's Thank commendable. You. It's beautiful. Thank you. And I love that you are also considering men. Mm. You are yeah. also, that's oh. why you see, you know, even as a, like a lot of men get to um, relate with you because unawaongelesha ukweli but in a very good manner. Mm. You know? Okay. Unawaongelesha ukweli but in a very good manner mm. and you are providing solutions okay. when yeah. you are teaching. I think also being being born the mm. only girl has really played a major role. A major role. Because now I'm easy with my boys, with mm. my brothers and my cousins. So mm. I'm easy with men. May have a question yes. on processed foods. Yes. Is ungaya ugali processed? It's fortified. That, uh, tell us. Away. I want to. I love illustrations. Yes. Have you ever experienced rat in your house? Mm. When they come to your house and they find maize, they only eat the inner part, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Yeah. But when you take the when you take the maize, the maize, the corn to the factory, they remove the outer part, the one that the cut, the the, the rat leaves, mm. and uses the part that will not. Um, spoil very fast they also add they also <laughs> add or remove some mm, things sorry. that will help keep the unga for long for longer on the shelf that's the difference between when you go to the posho meal with and your siaga. meal and you go and siaga it doesn't last that long mm. because it doesn't have preservatives and mm. additives so that one is fortified mm -hmm. yes so it's also not it is a simple sugar so it's a si simple starch usikule. and how did we grow it we want to see the illness in the factory. It is not, the illness. It does not start there. It starts on the soil. Mm. How did we grow? How do which chemicals do we use when mm. we are growing them? That is where we interfere with the plant. Yeah. Yes. Okay. If you if the the lesser evil is make the 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 whole grain whole me whole grain. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And rice. Cause it rice, is also fortified. It's also in a diwa vitu um, for long. Um, okay. Good, it's good to know because hey man, me I eat a lot of those ones. Yes, they are just oh, okay. The, the, the mm. thing is, we have complex sugars and uh, simple sugars. Mm. The difference is the level at which they are being processed in your body when after you consume. Like, for example, when uh, before I learned that my body has completely rejected rice, I used to eat. I eat rice, then I'll start sweating, I'll get palpitations, I'll feel like my blood pressure is high. I was wondering what the problem was. And I had experienced that with wheat. Mm. When I eat wheat, you even sit like this because mm -hmm. you don't even know what you're feeling. Mm. And that is when I realized that mm. the processing, when I eat that processed and it gets into my body, the 
ni kama kisia gear tumbo it mm. hurried it hurries up and says mm. let's do this maybe one of these days we invite a nutritionist here and ask them what's the difference between complex sugars mm. and the simple sugars gotcha. yes good yes. thank you carol mm. for mm. always you know giving us this beautiful information mm. and i can't wait for people you said lean we will walk this journey with you cuz yes. i like for me it's very easy to relate mm. to you because mm. i also feel like you have a very beautiful connection with our audience Mm. So let's do this journey. Yes. Are you so still taking the teas? Uh, yes, I am. Good Me and Scholar, of course. Scholar, like any jana na juzi to jakunyo. Yeah, <laughs> jana na juzi to jakunyo. <laughs> so we'll go back to it. But I you look know, for bottles for you. You so have that you can carry you, you know, wherever you are. have a big one right good. now, so I'll just okay. be pouring it. Okay. Then you need process. Mm. It's a process because your mm. body is experiencing yes. mother. And the body new. goes into shock when yeah. we start this. Mm. Um, especially when we'll be talking about hormonal imbalance, I'll tell you that most women, when they come and we start the journey, the periods come immediately because the body is in shock. Yeah, you, you feel mm. like a lot of madhogodhani yes. in your body, but you feel a lot of energy, which is really good. Yes, consistent. You, you are more energetic, mm. you are more lively, you mm. are more vibrant, mm. which is really good. Mm. But the, at the beginning, I will not lie to people. The first one or two days, yes. hey, hey, it's very... The body is mm, kicking, it's throwing your tantrums. Your body is asking, what are these? You yes. know, it's very it's very complex mm. at the beginning but would i recommend for someone to do it mm. okay. Okay. so we are about to go change yes. and go on to our next episode yes. so allow me to wind up okay. on this one okay. and also guys like i really do appreciate you watching and i hope you've learned something be kind to those men share with them this video what mm. their earphones who are watching paka hapo ataskiza the audio version mm. of it by putting your phone upside down mm. and just just listening to this you know share this with your brothers with your lovers with your dads so that he come when he may come wajue there are a bit of solutions mm -hmm. and you know last time they gave us happy vagina mm -hmm. i'm happy to hear men also have theirs yeah. not for applying <laughs> but see have happy vagina you told us to apply yeah, just apply so don't... why can't men just also apply i'm Be... for them it's sure this one, mm. this is ginger and cinnamon mixed in the right proportion. But, but this one, see, they can put down mm. there. Okay, yeah, good. Applying. This one, they can apply. So I think this mm. is the substitute actually for happy vagina. Because mm. happy vagina, we are applying down there. It is so for increasing the sensitivity. The sensitivity. Mm. And it smells so good. Once again, you guys can also use it, mm. you know, for sensitivity. Mm. Like cas caspre evil. Yes. Uh, Muga had a question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I got to ask that question for yes. him. He asked me to ask you yes see months is like behind so like the hole behind mm -hmm. like the ass mm -hmm. h-o-l-e mm. when you touch there for a month mm. why do they look up uh, even do you look at one am i look at you on the to see yes yes mm. yes Yes. Oh yeah. yeah there is a, there it is. actually looks like someone stitched a man. If you ever look at a man between the testicles and the A S S H eh. O L H O L E, <laughs> there is a stitch, uh -huh. and it's God who created that stitch. Yeah, that is what he's talking about. Mm. It's very sensitive. That is where the prostate gland is. Okay, inside there. Yeah, that's why they feel. Zzz. So it's a good place to it's touch also. <laughs> and then you shake. Guys, I'm done. <laughs> Okay, you're comfortable. You're good. It's been, <laughs> yeah, but it's been a good show, guys. We've learned. At least we know what to do. <laughs> you know, we gotta make it entertaining yes. too as we do it. Mm. But as I said earlier, share this with your loved ones. Uh, we're about to enter our next episode. But thank you so much for watching and also check her out. I love when I hear feedback. I love when I see you guys, you're inquiring. Mm. I love, do we still have, do we have a shop in CBD? Someone yes, was asking yes, where yes, in CBD? we have a shop in uh, Nairobi CBD, Tomboya Street. Yes. And Hardingham. Good. Titan Complex, mm. Kikuyu, mm -hmm. Ruiru, Nathika, Nanyuki, Good. Nakuru, Mombasa. And, yes. Um, yeah, so for places. CBD guys, it's there. I saw a lot of people last time. Oh, and asking. I'm going to Uganda, Katasi, to, Katasi of LNN. Hey. <laughs> uh, 25th uh, of uh, May, I'll be in Uganda, and 23rd of 
uh, June I'll be in Tanzania Marvelous. for a conference. Yes. I love that. Yes. Thank you. Yes. You, thank Karo. you. You are thank changing you. our nation. Thank you. One story at Ugandan a time. said, we don't care. We want to see you close 25th to us. 25th May. Yes. I wish I was there. I'm in Australia then. Yes. You know? So they want I'm in to Australia go and learn and the whole day. They ask as many questions as possible. Yes. Yes. I love this for you. Yes. And thank uh, you. So, thank you. So, Uganda is wangaria tu kidogo kabisa i represent <laughs> us to see she knew i come up last time like go and represent us okay, seriously I will, you know I will. but more wins to you thank and you. guys also thank you so much for watching i love that we are getting to normalize you know taking notes you guys have adapted this thing on the comment section where you are saying let me now take my notebook and a pen mm. and it also greatly inspired us to come up with merchandise joshua was very you know he's very passionate about merchandise so he was like, we gotta have merchandise for you guys. So we have our notebooks, we have our pens, we have our water bottles. We, I know we need the hoodies, we need the mugs, but zitakuja. But for now, if you want your notebook and a pen, you can order through those details right there. And also, guys, I want to say thank you, of course, to the sponsors who made this possible. Thank you, Optiven. Thank you so much, Tap Tap Send. Go get yourself a piece of land with Optiven and also send money to your loved ones back home using tap tap huh? and i can't forget i hope you guys it takes a lot for me to leave black and decide <laughs> to wear something different so i had to do this huh, for my beautiful friend zawadi so if you love this outfit she does a lot of thrift it's only 1500 they range from 1200 1500 1800 go get yourself a beautiful dress her pages are on your screen right now and she also delivers but you know delivery fee ni yako since our delivery fee you will cater for it so go support her it's good to elevate someone I, I, i'll wear a bit of colors in support of zizi by design so go check them out apart from that muga i hope me bambika na show ilikuwa poa scholar umelan where to touch good muga umelan where umelan what to eat hey, robert i hope today you can know where to what to eat edama bado sijui kama uko na kwa kutouch but it's okay <laughs> <laughs> guys me i'm out of here remember to subscribe if you haven't and also a lot of love to our people in senegal uganda tanzania uk australia all and over all the all world of, uh, i appreciate you guys for making this one of the best platforms to be able to gain knowledge mm. we are very open to feedback info at lnn.digital i'm gonna see you guys tomorrow at 10 a.m bye bye